Hello Cancer, welcome on my channel, Triple Two Tarot. We're gonna do your monthly tarot reading and prediction for you guys for December 2023. It's a general reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest. You can book a personal reading, everything given in description. You can reach out to me on my email address. You can even follow me on Instagram, link is given below. Do not get scammed. Sun, moon, rising, any placements in Cancer, you can void this reading. You can even switch the energies if you're cross-watcher. Let's go. What's happening? Three of Wands, King of Wands. Who you are dealing with? Aries, Leo, Sag. But this could be you. I'm hearing spread your wings. You could be even thinking about planning ahead about your future. You're very motivated right now. You're very passionate about your work. You could be even thinking about to move into a different country, different place. Are you happy there if you move there? Yeah, some of you, you really with the sun and four of wands. Yes, there could be some type of a good news coming in the... There's a good news in your family. You're going to celebrate in the next three to four months or weeks. Some of you, it's a good news about your baby, about your son, about your kid. You could be even getting pregnant. If you're married, you're getting pregnant. And others of you, if you're single, if you're single, you're getting married. Yeah, in the next three to four months. Could be in a summer, next, uh, summer season, in your own birthday season. Cancer. Yeah, now with this uh, four of wands and the sun, you could be also going to celebrate something in your family. You could be even going to celebrate your success very soon. Yeah, queen of wands. Interesting. We have a king and queen of wands. It's a couple here, by the way. King and queen of wands. Divine couple. Soulmates, twin flames. Because I saw four of wands, 11, 11. Now, I don't want to put the label, but yes, with us, because we have the sun, it's a soul. Soul connect. You definitely have a soul connection with this person. Now, whatever the label you want to put, it's up to you. But the wait is over. I'm hearing the wait is over with the three of wands. Finally... Meeting the love of your life. If you're single here, you're about to meet this person. I think you're about to meet this person in the next three to four months or in the next summer. Uh, now, if you're already married, happily married, you're being together or getting, you're thinking about, it's like some of you are dating right now, this person, you're in a relationship. So you guys are planning ahead about your future, getting married, you know. Now, if you are already li living together, this could be talking about settling down and planning about your future, planning about your kids, planning about a lot of things. But if you're single, you definitely, I think, found your match. Eight of Pentacles. Yes, some of you, you're dating this person right now, or you're about to date. This person could have eyes on you with a three of wands. They could be living in a different country than you. Some of you, you will get married in, it's like your marriage will be on a different different place, like in out of country, out of place, like could be in a, in a Paris, like a, your dream destination. You always have a dream. Uh, as a child, okay. As a childhood, you had a dream, like what type of marriage you want, what type of person you want. Maybe you always have an ideal type of a person. Um, so this is that person. You're getting married with your soulmate and twin flame. So it's like you're going to be so happy, excited on this marriage day. Your wish is coming true. Your inner child is so going to be so happy with a sun card. Your inner child is so ha going to be happy with this person. Are You already know who I'm talking about, okay? You're choosing this person. Or they're choosing you. You're coming together, by the way. So this is the man who's definitely going to make you so happy. Your soul will be dancing, I'm hearing, dancing with this person. When this person is around you, you feel so happy. Or in the future, because I'm seeing some of you three of three wands. It's like it's happening in the future. You just need to give it a time. Till then next, your birthday. You will get married or you will be happy. You will get married maybe or you will find your match. Now, some of you, this could be even Eight of Pentacles is like you're celebrating something at your work. You could be even going to attend some type of a business or formal meeting. You could be taking your family together somewhere. You're working hard with the Eight of Pentacles. We have a Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, some of you, you're really working hard on your money. It's about success, judgment. Oh, yeah, it's a soul contact between two people. It's, it's meant to be. Now, we have a Seven of Cups and Death card. Interesting story. Hmm. Could be Scorpio. You're dealing with Scorpio, Leo. There's a lot of fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. Scorpio, Sagittarius, Pisces. Could be an earth sign like Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Hmm. 
Knight of Cups. This is a proposal coming from this person. Hmm. It's a proposal. You maybe have options with the Seven of Cups. I think you maybe have an option between a fire sign and a water sign, an earth sign maybe. You need to make a choice. Now we have the Death card and the Sun and Judgment. Seven of Cups. This person need to make a big changes in their life in order to be with you. Or you need to make a big changes in your life in order to be with this person. Now, when I'm saying with the death, judgment, and three of wands, it could be this is someone who need to settle down in your country or you need to move into this person's place. Or you need to embrace this person's tradition with the four of wands, like their family norms or whatever it is. I don't know. But there is something, this is not going to be easy with the judgment and death card and son. Uh, I'm also feeling this is someone who's going to listen to their heart. They're definitely going to take the leap of faith. They're very positive with the three of wands to offer you this love with the Knight of Cups. They maybe even want to date you if this is someone who never dated you because they think that you're definitely husband or wifey material. You're a wifey material if you're a Cancer watching this video. And if you are a Cancer male or female, whatever it is, you're definitely going to meet this person and whoever you're interested in, you're going to know that this is your person. Some of you, it's a choice. This could be your family involved here and they're going to show you some type of a proposals and you're going to be like, I want to be with this person. So there's definitely marriage fixing, I'm feeling. You're getting married or there's a marriage fixing. Some of you, you definitely will get married in the next three to four weeks or months. Or maybe this month, this could be a proposal coming. But I think if you're dating this person or you're living together, it's moving up forward. You're meeting each other's families, planning ahead. It's, it's, this is like, now, if this is someone with a death card and judgment, I strongly feel this could be someone maybe coming back from the past or past life. If you believe in past life. If you believe in past life, this is soulmate from your past life uh, or twin flame. Uh, because we know that Twin Flame is like a runner and chaser. There's a dynamic between you and this person. So there was a separation for your own healing. And you both need to heal your inner child. You trigger each other inner child. And now this person really need to, with the Seven of Cups, there was a lot of confusion. There was a lot of mixed signals. There was a lot of, you know, things between you and this person that unsaid are, or you were confused about this person. But there's something about this person is ready to listen to their heart now with the Sun card. They're going to do whatever makes them happy. And you make them happy. Or they make you happy. So... Who cares? Proposal is coming from this person, I think. This person even gonna travel to see you or meet you. Some of you, it's about offer coming about your business. Um, you could be very, you could be very hardworking person in your business and people gonna appreciate it. You could be even getting a position of power or some type of a bonus with a sun card because you're gonna celebrate this success with your loved one, with your family. And if you're a creative person, then definitely it's about your creativity offer. Like you could be even doing a collaboration with someone. That's going to change your life forever. Some of you will travel, I think. You will definitely travel. Or you're moving into a different place, different country. You need to listen to your heart, Cancer. Please listen to your heart. Listen to your soul. With the Seven of Cups, you're confused. You're making it confused. You maybe have options or you're very overwhelmed. You could be afraid to take a big leap of faith or take risk in your life, but do it. Do whatever makes you happy, Cancer. What is stopping you? You. Your own fears in the way. Or maybe judgment of people. Judgment of a lot of things, like people want to judge it or whatever this bullshit is. Of judgment of other people, judgment of... It's here. Listen to your heart. Listen to your soul. Listen to your inner soul. You really need to heal your inner child, Cancer. It's really important. Otherwise, you're going to choose another wrong person. Are you going to make a wrong decision? So don't repeat the same. I'm hearing don't repeat. They're saying don't repeat the same mistakes from the past. Free yourself. Free your inner child. With the three of wands, it's like spread your wings. This could be even someone who's definitely going to confess their feeling. Yeah, leap of faith. I told you, this person, oh, goat, could be a Capricorn. Taking a risk, stepping into the beauty of the unknown. Yeah, so some of you, it's like you're getting into the unknown, or this is someone who's taking the leap of faith and taking the risk towards you. It's going to be risky, by the way, and they're going to do it. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Twin flame. 
a spiritual connection between you and your twin flame. Yeah, this is a definitely divine connection between you and this person. It's like you cannot escape from it. It's meant to be. Either it's starting or it's already you know. Now we have energy activation. Connect to the divine through meditation or prayer. Yeah, listen to your heart. Listen to your soul. I think it's only fears and confusion blocking this union. Awakening. A, re um, a realization, shift, or discovery. Yeah, this could be a discovery period, like you're just finally understanding that this is your twin, this is your soulmate. This is someone that you have a very strong spiritual connection with. And finally, this person is awakening that you're in a separation with. Oh yeah, lovers. It's definitely twin flame and soulmate. It's like a very divine love. It's like a very romantic divine love is about to happen. Oh my God, this person's going to take the leap of faith. They're going to take the risk for this love. They're ready. They're ready to kiss you. This person's heart is like, oh my God, they have a lot of passion for you, desire for you. They want to kiss you. They want to tell you that how much they love you, whoever this is. And if this is a new person because we say awakening, it's going to be very intense. For some of you, I'm feeling this is someone that you're in a separation with. So you're coming into union with your twin flame. Just get ready. Just activate. Be prayer. Have faith. Take the leap of faith. And, and it's like awakening, realization, overcoming obstacles. Yeah, this person is going to take the leap of faith. They're going to do it. Balance between you and this person is coming. This is your reading. I'm going to see you later. Bye.